In this video, let's solve for the value of x in this expression given to us. We are given the x root of 4 multiplied by the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 2, and that is equal to 32. We are asked to find the value of x. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass content. In my last video, many of my viewers were confused as regards the differences between the x root of a given value and the difference and that of x multiplied by that value. Now from this expression, I want you to note that if I have the x root of a value, which is uh, n, this can simply be equal to n to the power of 1 divided by x, right? Well, if I have x multiplying the square root of x, this is a different thing entirely and is different from uh, this. So this is exactly what we mean by this expression because we are having the x root of what? Of, of 4. So let's get that correctly. So having the x root of 4, the next thing we need to do is to simplify that expression and using the square root notation. We simplify that expression, we're going to have the value of our 4, we're going to remove the first square root, our 4 multiplying the square root of 2, multiplying the second square root of 2, and all of these will be to the power of 1 divided by x, which is the x root, and all of these will be equal to 32. In the next step, we are simply going to simplify. Now, how do we simplify? We're going to simplify by uh, taking or multiplying both sides by the, uh, the value of x, the power of x. Now, if we do that, that will help us do away with x on the left-hand side. So let's look at that. We're going to consider on the left-hand side the value of 4, multiplying the total square root of 2, multiplying the total square root of 2, and all of these to the power of 1 divided by 2 by x, and we are going to take the square of this whole value, and this will be equal to 32 to the power of what? Of x. Great. Now, from this expression, you can simply agree with me that x will cancel out x, right? And once x cancel out x, that other expression will now be 4 multiplying the square root of 2, multiplying the square root of 2, and all of these will be equal to 32 to the power of x. So what do we do from here? From here, we are going to simplify for that. And you know, for us to simplify for that, we need to clear off the square root. The square root is a great obstacle. So what we need to do is to clear the square root. And to clear the square root, we need to square both sides. So if we square both sides, we're going to have that expression to now give us uh, the square of 4 multiplying the total square root of 2, multiplying the square root of 2, and all these will be multiplying, will be squared, and this will be equal to 32 to the power of x, and all these will be to the power of 2. Now, from this expression, remember, 4 is what? Squared, and this will be multiplying. Uh, this, uh, this will cancel out this from, the, from here. This square will cancel out this first square. And then, because the square root is covering both the square and the 2, and that will now give us 2, multiplying the square root of what? Of 2. And all of this will be equal to 32 according to the law of indices. That will be 32 to the power of 2 what? 2x. Great. Now, having done this, we are going to simplify for that. To simplify for that, that expression is now going to be simplified for that by uh, removing the second square root. Now, if we remove the second square root by squaring both sides, we'll have the value of uh, 4 to the power of 
2, right? Multiplying 2, multiplying the square root of 2. I'm going to take the square of all these, right? And this will be equal to 32 to the power of 2x. And all of these will be what? It is squared. Now, left with this, that expression will now be what? 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 4 to the power of 4. Multiplying 2 will be to the power of 2. And then this will be multiplying the square root of what? 2 to the power of what? 2. And this will be equal to 32. 2x multiplying 2 will give us 32 to the power of what? forward for x great now to simplify that we are simply going to have this expression the square root cutting out the square and then that expression will give us 4 to the power of 4 multiplying 2 to the power of 2 multiplying 2 which will be to the power of 1 and this will be equal to 32 to the power of 4 now do you see something something here tells us that we can take all of these to the power of what 2 because 32 is a factor two, uh, 32 has 2 as a factor and 4 has 2 as a factor so 32 can give us uh, 2 to the power of 5 right good so if 32 can give us 2 to the power of 5 we'll have 32 to be equal to 2 to the power of 5 right and 4 can be equal to 2 to the power of 2. So we can simplify that such that they will all have a common base. So 2 to the power of 2 multiplying 4, right? And this would be multiplying 2 to the power of 2 for simplification purpose. They need to be in one common base. And this would be equal to 2 to the power of 5 all multiplied by the power of 4x. Great. Now, if we simplify this, we are going to have this according to the law of indices. This can multiply 2 times 4 can give us 2 to the power of 8, multiplying 2 to the power of 2, multiplying 2 to the power of 1, and this will be equal to 5 times 4 is 2 to the power of 20x. So, since we have one common 2s here, we can According to the law of indices, this can be equal to 2 to the power of 1, 8 plus 2 plus 1, and this will be equal to 2 to the power of 28. Now, according to the law of indices, if I have a to the power of x equal to a to the power of y, since they have common base, then my x will be equal to y. Great. Now, from the next expression, we are going to equate the uh, exponent. 8 plus 2 is what? 10. 10 plus 1, that will give me 11. So, this is going to give me, this is going to give me 2 to the power of 11 equal to 2 to the power of 20x. So, since they have the same base, all I'll do is to equate the power and that will give me 11 equal to 20x. If I divide here by 20, and then I'll divide here by 20, I'm going to have this cancelling out this, and then the value of my x will be equal to 11 divided by 20. Great. So this is the solution to uh, that expression given to us up there. Now I want you to I want to give you an, a tax, and the tax is take the value of x equal to 11 divided by 20, which we have uh, found here. Insert it for the value of x for, from into the original expression, which is this, and see if the left hand side can be equal to the right hand side. If it does, then you should know that the value of our x equal to 11 divided by 20 is absolutely right. So I want you to do that and drop a yes 
in the comment section and I will be so glad to interact with you. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.